Hi guys, today we're going to do a video just showing how to do a factory reset on a FortiGate appliance. Um, I'm using firmware version 5 um, and this is a 40 Wi-Fi 30E and I know this also works on a 50E, a 51E and most likely several other FortiGate appliances. So to do the factory reset, um, I'm going to use the um, console login. So what I'm going to do, I've got a USB to serial adapter, and I'm going to first go into computer management. I'm on Windows. Go to device manager, and ports, and you'll see there's my GigaWare USB to serial cable, and it's on COM4. So I'm just going there to find out what COM port I'm on and I'm going to use PuTTY. So once I'm in PuTTY, we'll go down here to Serial and change my COM port to match my adapter. And we want to make sure speed is set to 9600, data bits 8, stop bits 1, parity none, and then flow control none. Once I've got that set, I'm going to go up here and open hit enter and you'll see I'm at the login prompt. Um, so right now the only thing I've got set on here is a um, admin account and I've got a password set for it. Um, so right there you know since I had to type in a password that this is not a um, factory default setting because if it was factory default the username would be admin, the password would be blank. But just to make sure, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set a host name. And this will just be so we can verify that the factory reset worked. So I'm going to set a host name to test reset. And when I do that, you see my prompt change to the host name. So now we'll go ahead and execute the factory reset. When that is complete, what we should see is that our prompt should have changed back to the factory default setting. And we should no longer need a password to log in. So the command to do your factory reset is execute factory reset and that's all one word factory reset hit enter and it's gonna verify that you wanna reset the appliance hit Y and when you do that it's going to go ahead and set the appliance back to the factory defaults and it's going to reboot so it's starting to reboot right now so I'm gonna pause the video and once it's back up I will start the video again and we'll just make sure that our changes took effect Okay, our appliance has reboot, rebooted, um, and you can see our prompt has changed back to the factory default, and I'm going to log in with admin and just keep the password blank, and as you can see, I'm logged in, so our factory reset has worked, so it's as simple as that. Um, now, luckily, we knew the username and password to log in to begin with. Um, if you needed to reset a factory, a FortiGate appliance to factory defaults and you did not have the password to get in, um, you'll first need to um, reset the password which requires a console connection and I'll uh, show you how to do that in a separate video and I'll give you the link to that below. Thanks a lot.